watching Cougar Tracks Game Day, powered by Bank of American Fork. With Cougar Tracks Game Day here from Albertsons Stadium here in Boise, Idaho. BYU falls 28-27. They lose their fourth of the year. They go to 4-4 four and four going into their bye week before taking on Cincinnati. Dave, you and I came to the game to see how this thing turned out for BYU. We made our predictions beforehand, and uh, boy, I don't think anybody could have predicted how crazy this game ended up turning out for BYU. Deep down the middle, it is caught at the midfield strike. The 40, the 30, touchdown for Jeremy McBiring. End zone, catch made. Thomas Spurbeck, touchdown again. Attempt from Tyler Rossa. Snap is back, Ooh. it's blocked, deflected to BYU, and the Cougars off on the run. I mean, it was one of, it really was Another one. hard stopper, which is what it is every single game. I mean, outside of the Michigan State game, Down to every single the game is it, it has been in basically the final play. I mean, yeah. it's it's shocking not only to us, but it's to the players. They talk about it afterwards. They're like, man, I wish it wasn't like that. But it is. It's just what it's been. It's been kind of the the way this team has been. They don't, they don't give up. They stick with it. And... At the very last play, it kind of has gone 50-50 for him with a 4-4 four four record. Fourth down, final play of the game for BYU. Taysom sprints to his left, loads up, fires for the end zone. And the ball is batted around and incomplete. Yeah, and you know, coming into Boise, it's already going to be hard. But when you get five turnovers oh. and then you can't capitalize, you don't have any and turnovers And you don't turn yourself. the ball over at all. Yeah, no turnovers yeah. yourself. Ripping boots, settles in the pocket, fires up. Throws incomplete, intercepted. Fred Warner at the far sideline picks it off and tiptoes the sideline into Boise State territory. The 40, the 30, stays on his feet, flag flies. Still on his feet, still running through tackles inside the 10, inside the 5, dives for the end zone. Is he in for a touchdown? The signal is touchdown, Fred Warner. And Knight are left. The throw is right, tipped up and picked. The Cougars have it, and down the sideline they go again. 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, and touchdown, Diane Lake. The handoff of Nichols. But Nichols, oh man, he's into the second level. Shoots a big gap, and he's all the way out to near midfield. Oh, fumble! And it's loose, and you know the Cougars have it! BYU football! To have zero themselves, BYU has won all the games this season, but now five turnovers they force, and then they don't turn over the ball themselves, they still lose to Boise State. So, Dave, our turn, our uh, turnovers happen to be part of the deal. I asked you, would BYU force a turnover against <laughs> Boise State, who was... Uh, Pretty good at going into this game of not giving the ball up. and um... They'd only given up six turnovers all year long. And I thought, you know what, the, the one thing that this Kalani defense and, and Ituiaki's defense has done is they focused on stripping the ball, yeah. getting those batted balls and, and tip drills. And I, I felt like they would do it. And boom. Yeah, Dave got it. Finally an A-plus for me. I thought you were way off because you actually said, yeah, I think they'll get a turnover. They ended up forcing five. With five. Uh, the question I have for you was, uh, your 50-50, a really easy question was, these games have come down to it, and usually two-point conversions have been uh -huh. involved. Was BYU going to have a, a two-point conversion in this game? Yeah, and I said flat out, no, and they didn't. But maybe in retrospect, they could have used it. BYU comes hard from either side. They wrap him up as he throws to the end zone. It is caught for a touchdown. What a reception made. So uh, another game where BYU goes down by a point and to a really high-ranked opponent. Yeah. That's tough for, uh, for Coach uh, Satake. And, you know, his kicking game, there were all sorts of things. There were all sorts of problems, but special teams matter, Dave yeah. Noriega. Okay, so on the yard side of things, I said that I asked you, Taysom Miller, who hasn't passed for, for two, more than 250 this year, I asked what his yardage would be for a game like today. Yeah, I, he, I, I, I thought he would be what he's been all season long, which and is nailed it. really wildly inaccurate. And 21 for 42 is just not going to cut it as a senior quarterback. And as much determination and, I'm sorry to say, it, grit as, as he has and he's shown, the fact is there's passes that, that are being missed that have to be made. You think about uh, even down the down the stretch, he had a wide open Moroni uh, low low Putatau, oh, yeah. and it wasn't that he just threw it low. He skipped it to him, yeah. and he was throwing across his body. and And these are the the kind of plays that just have to be made, and they're not being made. Yeah. I, I didn't see what his final uh, yardage was. One eighty seven on the uh, yardage yeah. for uh, for Taysom. So. Kind of right what you would say. Still said. nailing it. My <laughs> predictions have been amazing. Why so are you far. Why are you taking joy in this? I because can't I'm joy dominating this. my predictions for once okay. after 
weeks and weeks of <laughs> catastrophic results. Now, you asked me. I thought this was unfair. I thought it was mean. But you asked me about <laughs> I, I asked you how many agricultural uh, advertisements, signs yeah. uh, that would be shown. Yeah. And if you look around here at Albertson Stadium, one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's a grocery store. It doesn't see, count. And they have a lot of okay. produce. So, so we counted. We went through, and we'll throw up some pictures here, but uh, we're not going to count up the ones that double up at the same company, okay? So it comes out to four, it looks like. I said five. I thought that was a pretty good guess. You said I was going to be way under, but I thought that was a pretty good guess. Are, counted, you, are you sure you counted, like, the halftime thing? <laughs> well, I didn't, see, like, like, I didn't see a cow come out and go, <laughs> treat Idaho right and use Idaho beef. I didn't see any of that, but... Uh, four official kind of signs or advertisements to the game. So not bad so far. And then we get to the okay. scores, Dave. This is where you fall off. Uh, no, it's where I nail it. I said a one-point victory for the Cougars. <laughs> no, and it just happened to be a one-point victory for the Broncos. I just – one point, <laughs> nevertheless. You thought it would be a blowout yeah. because you're terrible at guessing. I said Boise State would win 34-24, to 24, which I think after uh, how well their offense was moving the ball – I thought well, it could have been really close. I thought it was going to be 54-24 yeah. after watching those first three yeah. series. They fall here at Boise State, 28 28- 27. Perfect timing for, for the Cougars. They actually get a bye week. Jamal Williams didn't play. The second leading rusher in the nation gets not only the bye week, but since this is a Thursday game, he gets a few extra days on top of that. He, he worked out, tried to get loose before the game. Uh, didn't, didn't make a decision not to play until about five minutes before kickoff. And uh, BYU, despite the fact that Squally Canada had a, a pretty nice game, almost 100 yards, uh, still you're missing your superstar, you're missing your captain, yeah. your future NFL running back. Obviously devastating. You could really see – where he would have uh, filled in nicely. But nevertheless, uh, a very entertaining game, exciting, great highlights, and uh, still a heartbreaker, which has kind of been the the story for BYU's losses this year. When they lose, they lose in spectacularly painful fashion. Snap is back, good hold. Kick on its way, blocked by the Broncos. BYU has it, and Almond is, uh, Jurgens is tackled back at the 44-yard line. Loads up, fires for the end zone. And the ball is batted around and incomplete. Knocked down by the Broncos, and now the game is over. Speaking of spectacularly painful, Dave, did you break your back this game? No, no, thanks. Nobody hit me. For Cougar Tracks Big Game win. Day from Albertson Stadium in Boise, Idaho, BYU Falls, go to 4-4 four and four in the season. I'm Alex Keery. He's Dave Noriega. Cougar Tracks Game Day is powered by Bank of American Fork. Big city banking, small town service.